not going safe. It's not safe. For you cross me, look both ways. Leaving the scene with no trace. None in my lead. You out of place. I'm not at the top. I'm out of space. Can't eat with us. We're out of place. I'm doing fine. I'm feeling great. You're not my fan. You can't relate. Straight talk going state to state. What's up, guys? It's the mini host here, and today I am back with another five questions. And today I'm here with the wonderful, the amazing Travis Moore. Welcome to Five Questions. <laughs> okay, so number one, you're facing Stan Smith and a mystery opponent at HWE on Saturday. Do you have any ideas on who this mystery person could be? Mind you, the answer to this question will air after. Yes. <laughs> um, this will air after. Yes. Okay, so I can say it. Yeah. Okay. I don't yeah, want to get. Yes, you can. Okay, I don't want to get in trouble because I know AC's gonna give me crap if I say anything. Um, but uh, I think uh, it's it's gonna be McRae, uh, like Freedom Mollus, and uh, that match is gonna be uh, pretty good. I think it's gonna have some high paced stuff for it, especially since uh, um, it's my first time working those guys. It's my first time wrestling Stan and uh, Wallace. I've gotten to know Wallace a bit. I've gotten to know Stan a bit because I, I worked at Battle Arts for like front desk and stuff, but I am super excited for that match. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, too. we are too. We think you guys are going to blow the roof off. Mm-hmm. Then I'll wait. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping we do, and then we don't get in trouble for property damage. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a lot of people like you. I hear you're getting a lot of notifications. Um, I did not realize that is uh, on right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was. I hope that's not bothering you at all. No, no, no. You're no. Good, you're good. Okay, go ahead. okay, so number two. In wrestling, we're all fans. What made you become a wrestling fan? Um, my family always watched wrestling when I was young. And, uh, like, it, it was a big uh, bonding opportunity for me and my grandfather. Um, my, my dad watched it a bit with me. And my mom had to deal with me always watching Monday Night Raw and stuff. And <laughs> end up uh, watching the replays the next day because uh the channel would play it on tuesdays as well at like four so right when i get out of school i can just start watching monday night raw and watch like john cena versus like randy orton and big show and like a hell in a cell on raw (laughs) which is a wild match they had back in like 2009 yeah i've never seen that so my dad's gonna have to show me (laughs) Uh, it's like on the best of 2009 DVD, I believe. Okay, well, you're going to have to show me that. You can find that on the network, no problem. <laughs> okay, so number three. The interesting thing about you is you don't let your size hold you back. What gives you the drive to perform like that? Uh, I've always had a very, like, I, I would say it's an Napoleon complex. Like, uh, people will call me small and then I would end up beating the crap out of them for it (laughs) um and uh i i've always had that since i was like in school like i was bullied a lot as a kid and um eventually i just had enough of it so like i became a very scrappy kid throughout later years of elementary and high school god i regret a lot of it (laughs) but um that's I think the main driving force for how I am in the ring where I'm more of a uh take on everyone type person and it's definitely uh had a few backfires with a few opponents but I don't regret a single thing in wrestling yes wrestling is always amazing um <laughs> uh, number four whenever working out everyone listens to music so what starts your playlist and what ends it so I have a weird thing where I listen to music I hate. So then I push through even harder. Uh-huh. So like when I start my playlist, I listen to music that like I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a big fan of Jane's Addictions. I do not like them whatsoever. So I've listened to them and then just like 
it will get me to like push through my sets really fast. Um, and then it would usually end with like some like really crappy pop from like 2010, like chain smokers or something. <laughs> Well, that's actually a pretty good strategy, honestly. That's a good idea. Um, okay, so the fifth and final question. Is there any type of match in wrestling that you haven't done yet that you want to do? That's a good question. Uh, ladder or a TLC match. I've always, uh, I've gotten to do like hardcore matches and uh, like death match type matches and uh i didn't all right at those so i think i could do all right at ladder matches or like a tlc match or something you know i i want to experiment be like the stipulation travis moore or something ah okay i'd like to see you in a ladder match that'd be cool yeah i just don't want to get hurt <laughs> <laughs> um well thank you again for the time i had a blast thank you very much well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, and turn notifications to get notified each time we post a video. And I'll see you guys all next time. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to tune in next week for another great episode on all available podcast platforms and hosted on Podbean. Also, check us out on YouTube at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Instagram at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Facebook at Straight Talk Wrestling, and on Twitter at underscore Straight Talk. And if you feel the need to buy some sweet merch, check us out on ProWrestlingTees.com. Leaving the scene with no trace, none in my leave. You out of place, I'm not at the top, I'm outer space. And eat with us, we're out of place. I'm doing fine, I'm feeling fine. Leaving the scene with no trace, none in my leave. You out of place, I'm not at the top, I'm outer space. And eat with us, we're out of place. I'm doing fine, I'm feeling great. You're not my fan. Straight taco.